This is Vianney and Alan. They're a couple from the show My 600 Pound Life who took down around four days worth of food between themselves during their episode. Today, their diets become our diets as we see just what it's like to eat like a My 600 Pound Life couple for one entire day. All right, today we are eating like a My 600 Pound Life couple. It's gonna be a lot of food. How do you feel right now? A little nervous. But before we get into it, we're gonna check our body weights before and after. Christy's starting weight was 128.9 pounds. All right, my turn. My starting weight, 172.4 pounds. All right, we're gonna play a little game. We're gonna guess what our weight is gonna be at the end of today. And whoever's closest to their guess wins the game. I think I'll probably gain four pounds, maybe? I think I'm gonna gain seven pounds. Well, what do I get if I win? Uh, you get eternal glory. Eternal glory? No, no, no. I want to pick your outfit in the next video. Okay, fine. And if you win, what do you want? I get to choose your outfit in the next video. Done. Are you ready? I'm hungry. You hungry? Yes. All right, I got a big breakfast for you. Ready? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Breakfast time. That's it? No, that's actually just the first course. Boom, I know you love breakfast, babe. <laughs> That actually does look really, All really right. good. So for breakfast, Alan and Bellini had their own breakfast platter full of pancakes, hash browns, eggs, toast, and bacon. This could feed me for a week. It's funny you say that because this is actually the smallest meal of the entire day. To go along with breakfast, we have two cups of coffee. Good thing I love carbs. I heart carbs mugs, available, link in the bottom. Do you want me to ketchup you? No. You want to do your own ketchup? Yes, please. Who's team ketchup on hash browns? Comment down below. I'm team ketchup on eggs, personally, but I'll do hash browns. That's gonna be you after all. That's gonna be you? I was just gonna say, that's gonna be you. Get your approval? Oh yeah, hash browns always win. Christy loved the hash browns, and so did I. Mm. These hash browns are amazing. So good. These pancakes are from Denny's. I love Denny's, but IHOP's always good too. I like them both. Can I, I have know. the syrup, please? Alright, Dunnies, these pancakes are incredibly dry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thankfully, I had some syrup on hand to help out with the dryness. Unfortunately, the eggs were even worse than the pancakes. I don't love them. Ooh. I'm not a ketchup and egg person. You put syrup on the eggs. Oh, that's not bad. Pancakes are definitely not very good. The hash browns are the best part. Good. That bacon was amazing. My hands are all sticky. It's because you eat like a caveman. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It's way better than the pancakes. Mm. It's safe to say we very much enjoyed the French toast. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of Denny's eggs, but Everything else is pretty good. What do you think so far, babe? Feeling good? Still pretty hungry? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish this French toast. This is really good. Let's just say that Christy's appetite was about to get seriously put to the test because she had no idea what we were eating for the rest of the day. Now we're on our way to get lunch. Now, lunch for Bellini and Alan was so big that we actually have to go to two places to get lunch. Really? Yes. We're on our way to the first place right now. The last time we went to this place, we didn't really have the best smelling meal. It literally smells like- Straight a, up fish. It smells like an ocean in here. For part one of Vianney and Alan's lunch, they each had one fish and chips tray, which clocked in at 1,050 calories. After stopping at Red Lobster and getting our trays, it was time to dig in. All right, so we have two platters of fish and chips right here. I personally love fish and chips, but for some reason, Red Lobster's seafood is incredibly Fragrant. Potent. Yeah, there you go. Fragrant. In That's a, a very good way to put it. Unflattering way. Hopefully it tastes better than it smells. Just mm -hmm. a little bit more salt. Yeah. Not bad. Um, I'm not a fan of tartar sauce. Oh. I just feel like tartar sauce is like one of the worst things in this entire world. Ooh. It's like cold slaw. 
I think it's coleslaw. Um, that's not tartar sauce. It's foul, whatever it is. Oh, here we go. I'm dipping it. I'm definitely not going to be dipping it. Oh. Oh. No, it's not bad. Even better with the sauce. I'm not touching that sauce. No, thank you. Mm. That fish fillet was amazing. You still hungry? Not for this. Part two of B&E and Alan's lunch, they each had a tray of spaghetti and meatballs. After heading over to Olive Garden to get our spaghetti, it was time for lunch again. All right, so we have the second half of their lunch. This smells amazing. It does smell very good. This is a whopping plate of pasta right here. I'm weird. If you guys know me, you'll know that whenever I eat pasta, I have to cut it. I know, you are strange like that. I just like, I don't know, do I got it. Do not get that on my white top. Is it a challenge? No, do not. Ooh, ASMR. Mmm. Mmm. I've always liked their spaghetti. Alright, this is good. Well, babe, how do you feel right now? I'm I'm getting full. <laughs> well, I've got very bad news for you. Because the next meal is the biggest meal. Oh lord. But babe, before we get to the biggest meal of the day, believe it or not, both of them actually had a little after lunch snack. So we're gonna go get that right now. All right, babe, you ready? b and &E and Alan's post-lunch snack, both of them had two scoops of ice cream. So now we have two scoops of ice cream. This is rainbow, sh I guess it doesn't matter. Is it sherbet or sh sherbet? Uh, I think it's sherbet. Oh. I say sherbet, but apparently we've been saying it wrong our entire lives. It's actually sherbet. There's no R. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Sherbet me. <gasps> That's delicious. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's the best thing we've had all day. Mm. Babe, I have to say. This is what dreams are made of. We actually have something very much in common with Alan and Vianney. They both bonded over food, and we both bond over food. Aww. He met her online, and I met you online. Aww. All those years ago. Mm. Why is this my first time ever having their what sherbet? Now I'm self-conscious. It's sherbet. That one's really good too. That's kind of a weird first. It's a berry. I like this one better. But... I definitely like orange, mm. the original orange, orange sherbet better. If you're team sherbet or sherbet, comment which one you are down below. Oh my gosh, this is so good, but I'm so full. Oh babe, I got bad news for you. What? The next meal, you're gonna have to eat more than me. At this point, both Vianney and Alan had taken down almost 7,500 calories, but now it was time for their highest calorie meal, dinner. We're here right now to get your item that's gonna be in addition to our dinner. You're not getting anything here? No, because you got you you have a little bit bigger of a dinner than I do. So we'll get your item here at McDonald's, here at McDonald's, ooh. Ice cream cone? <laughs> After picking up Christy's extra dinner item, we headed over to Domino's to grab our next items. Finally, it was time for dinner. All right, babe. We have the highest calorie meal of the day on the table right now. How are you feeling? My eyes don't lie. But before we get to this massive dinner, since it's the end of the day, I think it's time to take our weight. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, babe. So remember, you said you were going to gain four pounds. I said I was going to gain seven pounds. Let's do it. 133.3. All right, you were close. All right, babe, you ready? After stepping on the scale, my weight was 180.1 pounds. Since I was 0.7 pounds over my goal, Christy won. Looks like you were closer, you win. I have no idea what Christy's gonna choose from our wardrobe for the next video, but I'm sure it's probably gonna be pretty embarrassing. We have two oh. cheese pizzas, but these pizzas are cheese pizzas with sausage, otherwise known as salchicha, and also, very special item over here. Move that off to the side. One thing that really irritates me when I get pizza is like some pieces look like they're cut, but like they're not fully cut. Like, like check that out. Like, come on, Domino's, what are we doing here? All right, that is not a properly cut slice of pizza. Domino's. I love Domino's crust. That is sensational. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not. 
That was amazing. I decided to leave the some of the crust just because, you know, I've got to wash my carbs. Sweet baby rays. Huh? What? Barbecue sauce. Hmm. If you've never tried barbecue sauce on pizza before, you are truly missing out. I want to try it. Just a little. Thank you. It's tasty, isn't it? No. Oh, you just ruined it. Oh, no. It's more for oh. me. How are you feeling? It's like that point. It's good and you're so full, but you don't want to stop. Well, unfortunately, in the last meal, Alan actually ate less than Vianney. She had a burger and fries to go along with her. No, so, God! Unfortunately, no, God, you have please, no, no! Oh, man, just check that out. That is, that is, I gotta say, that's a pretty big looking Big Mac. So enjoy, my love. Enjoy the Big Mac. Enjoy the Big Mac. Before we get into it, everyone down below, if you could just comment, Christy, because Christy is taking one for the team right now. Christy is very, very full, and she's she's doing it because you know this is we're eating like a my six hundred pound life couple right now, and to do that you got to have a big appetite and you got to push your limits. And Christy is, is going above and beyond today. So, <laughs> round of applause for Christy down below. Ooh, that nice big bite. Mmm, got a little saucy sauce on your lip. Let me get a free. Mm -mm. Babe, I'm so full. Fine, I'll be a gentleman. I'm assuming you don't want the fries either. Nope, all yours. Wait, can you hear it? Oh gosh. I do want to give a big shout out to Alan and Vianney from the show because they actually ended up changing their lives around completely and they lost a ton of weight. That's a really good success story. Yeah, right absolutely. There. So big shout out to them. On a completely opposite note, I'm going to enjoy some more fries. Well, my love, how do you feel? Like I'm 600 pounds. <laughs> Everyone, if you've enjoyed this video with the electrics, let us know down below in the comments and let us know what you want to see next on the electrics. Be sure to subscribe to Christy's channel if you haven't already. Link to her channel will be down below in the description. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and without further ado, the electrics. We're out.